Hi, we wanted to show you some of the updates we've been working on for Paint Swatches version 1.3. As you can see, we have a new project screen. Here we've show your project with visual paint swatches so that you can see how the colors are working together as well as show how some of the projects work together. If you had an open floor plan in your home and you had two rooms close, you might want to be able to notice that. In addition, we have a question mark swatch on your screen and that is if you have no colors in your workspace that's what you will see. Another feature we have is that if you hold down your projects for five seconds you'll be brought to a project management screen. Here you can either delete the whole project or copy the whole project. So we are going to copy the whole project. We're going to give it a new name. And as you can see, the copy of the project will come in on the project screen right next to the original. New feature we have is that on the workspace, you can now customize the workspace to your own photographs, which you find in your iPhoto library. In addition, we have also changed and allowed you to change and customize your palette bar color. You might be working with a warm or cool color scheme and want to make that a little bit more usable towards your project. Here are the manufacturers page. We have added a few manufacturers such as CC2 in this um, upgrade and I am always looking to add more paint colors and more paint manufacturers. Some of the things that have stayed the same are the list of manufacturer colors and their colors that you're using in your project, writing notes and being able to keep track of information, and being able to email that. Now we have a new edit button here and that is where you can do some of these changes. You can change your project name and uh, we'll just put it to. You can change your background color. We have black but we also have white, warm gray, and cool gray. This is where you would change your workspace background to pick your image and here are your colors of which you can still do your reverse swipe to delete. Let's go back to our project screen and let's take this test and ch check out some of these changes. Okay, let's pick a color. Add that to the project. Okay, let's check some of the edit button. So now we're going to change your palette bar to white because you'll be able to see that in a very big demonstration and we're going to add a photograph into the workspace. So you again you can change your project name, palette background we're going to select white and done and in the workspace background we're going to select an image we're going to choose the sunset. Now depending on the size of your images will depend how quickly it works and if you chose, choose a very large image it may slow down your program. Hit done, done again and you can see your image. Add some colors in there and there you go. If you go back out to the project screen you will see that there is now that color in your sample. Thank you for watching.